Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, man. So, we got comedy back in certain areas. Um, I believe D.L. Hughley, um, not D.L. Hughley, but uh, getting to him in a second. But Dave Chappelle had, um, he put something on, like outdoor comedy, um, outdoor comedy performance in Ohio somewhere. But, um, and you know him, Ashley, Larry, Donnell Rawlins, they, they, um, they was there, you know, they ripped or whatever, you know, they did their thing or whatever. Um, and, and I'm starting to think now, not think, just like a debate. Like, uh, like it, it's, it comes up and it's like, you gotta, you gotta kinda, um, now you gotta ask yourself, Dave Chappelle is creeping up in that, um, in that GOAT conversation, you know? He's, he's, I'm, I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him top five right now. Cause, um, you know, some of the stuff he did is, is legendary, you know, iconic. So, you know, I'm gonna put him up uh, around the top five. I'll say that. Top five, give or take. We'll, we'll do that, you know. And I'm gonna debate that with some people pretty soon. And I'm, um, I think I'm gonna upload it on here. But um, on a serious note, you know, D.L. Hughley was up on, he got back also, he was on stage. And um, he, he, you know, he kind of like started talking incoherently and then uh, he just like faded out on, on the stage, you know, he passed out on the stage. And uh, lucky thing for him, he had, uh, I, I believe his security was right there. And, and you know, when he started talking kind of weird, you know, the guy picked up on it and he was able to get to him be before he fell off of the stool that he was sitting on, you know. Um, so I just want to send a shout out to him and hopefully he get better. He, he, he put out a video, said he was doing better. And he also um, said that he had tested positive for COVID. So that right there is, um, you know, could have played a part into it. He said he's asymptomatic. So he went back to the hotel that, you know, where he, wherever he was, uh, did the show at, he went back to the hotel and he quarantined in there, um, you know, for a couple of weeks at least. And, uh, you know, you just hope he get better. Um, something else I wanted to get to, man. So I'm looking, like, when you scrolling on Instagram and Twitter and all that, man, Go check me out, man. The real underscore mojo underscore on on both um, Twitter and Instagram. But you know you, they got the Instagram models and all of that. Everybody got the OnlyFans now. So, and the crazy thing is, them OnlyFans is making some dope. Them, the the OnlyFans account. They making some dough, and then like some on uh, like when you scroll it up and down your Twitter, because Twitter's a little bit more loose. When you scroll up and down your Twitter, man, you will see some crazy shit on there, on them uh on them OnlyFans. You know, you see some wow stuff on them OnlyFans. I'm talking about like pornographic type of shit on there. Um, a lot of twerking, a lot of nudity, obviously, but now. So, and then you check it and you look in and you like, uh, they'll be posting their thing. Like you can subscribe for three ninety nine, dollars blah, 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 $5. Um, some of the, some of the chicks with a lot of you, cause you check and I did a research, you check, um, when they got like a bunch of followers and stuff, then they'll, they'll be more like $10 or whatever. But then, but now the game done flipped. The game to flip right now, man. <laughs> Listen, celebrities is is jumping on the OnlyFans train, man. Celebrities and they charge they charge like twenty five dollars. Yeah, I think Safari and his wife Erica Mena they showed their um like earnings for the month one time, dude. And I think it was like a hundred thousand dollars for the month for Safari and his wife was like behind him like. 50, 60,000, I think uh, she said she just had started. So, I mean, that's wow. 
so not only is they, you know, they already, not them, but I'm saying like celebrities, they already killing the game. I think Casanova had his joint on there. He said it was fifty dollars. So and and they getting they getting subscribed to. They getting views because you know everybody, you know regular people want to see it, want to see them, and they want you know. And then, but there's also some people that's doing like business on there too, giving you business tips and you know giving it giving you know giving the tea it's not all not every last one of them is like that but then but they use that i seen some of the a couple of women i don't know who they was but they'll use that to entice you and get the uh and get the uh get your subscription so to speak they'll get you to look on there and see you know get you they'll they, you know they'll post like bikinis and all that other joint or something and then you you know get cats to go on there and drop the change to fifteen, twenty dollars a a month or whatever. But and then who knows what they do on there. But then you got the um then you got the, the downright <laughs> the downright, you know, you know who's um they on there getting wild. Getting wild. Like I said on Twitter, they give you when you scrolling through your Twitter, you can see they giving you a preview, you know. And, um, they going, they going hard. So, you know, that's just crazy. I was just wondering, like, was it only me? Like, damn. So everybody, everybody doing OnlyFans, regular people, and celebrities, and like in between, the the Instagram models, you know, like the new models, the, the the calendar girls, all that. But it's crazy because suppose, suppose like somebody doing $15 a month for the subscription. Suppose they got like 20,000 people watching that, that. That's crazy the amount of money they making every month. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. I, you know, I just, I just thought it was like interesting because at first I seen a lot of the girls on like just scrolling up and down the Twitter. They'll be, only fans, three ninety nine, blah, blah blah. But now the game changed, cause then and then you got to think about it too. It's a smart timing too, because ain't nobody going outside. Everybody in the house, so everybody in the house. And then think about the people that's getting um, unemployment or working from home. But the people that's getting unemployment, they getting that extra six hundred, and they could throw fifteen dollars a month to one of their Instagram models that they've been liking. <laughs> they've been feeling yo, that's crazy. Or whatever, fifty dollars, twenty dollars, whatever they charge, and you know, even if it's just for one month, she still or he still got the money. It's made made that money. You know, that's crazy, man. Only fans. That's what it's coming down to. That's what it's coming down to. And it's it's legal. It's an honest hustle. You know. You know, for the most part, I figure whoever they with is doing it when they be doing like the sex joints. I figure that they don't. They'll be the ones on there with them. They ain't doing like it ain't like porn stars doing like mad shooting mad scenes and shit or whatever. But yo, that's just an intro. I was just interested in You know what I'm saying? I kinda jumped off off the track of what I was saying where I was going, but that was crazy though. <laughs> the only fans, they're getting it in. But then too, you know, I'm you know, jumping back into a little little bit of sports stuff because we ain't got much going on. So I was reading, oh, and then it too. Have y'all been seeing these dudes, certain dude like beating up these girls? Like, yo, what is up, bro? Like, what, like, what is up, yo? Like, I can't imagine. Like, dude, one dude, he knocked a girl out with a skateboard. Like, bro, come on, man. Like, that's 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 crazy, man. I like. I'm, I don't even want to give that no type of no type of air time. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's getting to the point now where every time you turn around, he knocked her out with a skateboard. I don't care about the reason, whatever. Reason. Then I see another cat in school. These are two high school kids. Him and a girl going back and forth. She turns around. He walked up and punched her or smacked whatever he did. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, just... 
Then I seen one that was crazy. Dude just had a girl on the street. Just, you know what I'm saying? Just pow, like, bro, like, what, what the fuck, man? Come on. Enough is enough, bro. Like, enough is enough, you know? Um, like, th- th- like, everything that's going on, right? Everything that's going on. you know, with us right now, with all the protests, we making some headway, you know, stuff starting to happen, stuff starting to change, get a little bit better, slowly. But then y'all doing this. So it's like, and a lot of black women is is um, organizing these protests, you know what I'm saying? So how somebody supposed to respect our black women if they see us knocking them out with skateboards and, all, you know what I'm saying, all this type of silly shit, man. Like, I just, enough is enough, man. I don't want to get that shit too much airtime because that's, like, um, annoying me. That, every time I see it, I just get disturbed. And then the dudes that's filming it in the background laughing or not helping or not talking no sense to the person that's doing it. I'm not even gonna say man, whatever. But um that sh- like that, that shit gotta stop, bro. That, like we gotta chill that out. We gotta chill that out. If he don't know no better, the people that's with him, y'all need to know better. Let him know. You know what I'm saying? Like he could yell, talk, scream on her, say what he want, call her what he want, but when you take it to the, the next level, like come on man. Like, come on, man. Like, that's just, like I said, I'm, I'm done giving that air time. I'm done giving that air time, you know. And then, like, what I'm about to go into. So, Rusty Wallace had a, the, the NASCAR driver, had a I Can't Breathe shirt supporting us. Somebody puts a noose in his, uh, I don't know what they call it for NASCAR. I, I mean, what is it? Was it in the locker room or, like, um, I guess they call it the pit or whatever, where they put the had the car cars at and get the um tires or whatever, whatever. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure where, what they call it where they put it, but a noose after they banned the Confederate flags from NASCAR. This is a white dude driver, um, and he put a noose up on his shit. Like that's that that's what we deal with. That's what we deal with. I mean, check the location on them races, where they be having them races at. You know what I'm saying? That would that would tell you all you need to know. Or most of what you need to know. You can play stupid if you want, but you know, like let's be real. Um you know, on a brighter note, uh, uh, on the other side of all this, Brett Favre was saying, you know, <clears throat> in light of everything that's going on, you know, he's he said um, Kaepernick's going to be looked at as a hero pretty soon. But, he, I mean, he's going to be looked at as a, as a, uh, as a future teller predict the future <laughs> I don't know about Hero because a lot of them still playing stupid oh he's disrespecting the flag this shit don't got nothing to do with the flag bro. nothing so all these signs that's coming down I mean not signs but uh statues that's coming down all that like you still you still Drew Brees a person like him been in Katrina live in New Orleans in the locker room, handing the ball off, throwing the ball to black dudes for the last how many years? You would still make a statement like that. So that's just telling me you're stupid. That's what that's telling me. Because the man been saying it ain't about the flag for five years. Everybody been saying it ain't about the flag 
all year. All last week, all two when when Drew Brees got on uh Yahoo and said that, I'm pretty sure he know it ain't got nothing to do with no flag. Or no America. A little bit America. But um and then he said that. So uh, disrespecting the flag. The flag don't got nothing to do with it, man. You know that. That's not the first time you heard that. So for you to even say that and get shit more amped up, you know what I'm saying? Like that's on your part. That was just irresponsible. Like just, shh, just don't say nothing. If that's the, you know, if you're going to say something stupid, just don't say nothing. You know, you, you just donated $5 million before that to help out the area that you in, man, like, God damn. Just stupid, bro. I'm I just I'm I'm that's all I can say, man. Just, like what he said was just stupid because everybody know it ain't about the flag. The man said he didn't say I'm kneeling to disrespect the flag. He said I'm near a, 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 a military veteran suggested the best way to do it would be to kneel for social injustice, police brutality. So, and he said that, reset it, three said it for, been saying it for the last five years, everybody been saying it and doing it. And you still said something stupid. So, he got what he deserved. Um, he got what he deserved, Drew Brees. And so then he had to come out and do all these apologies and shit. Like, I mean, just, just chill. You know, and, and, and he's, he's kind of lucky now. By the time he get back, it's going to be, um, it's going to be kind of chill because you don't even know when you're going to get back to football you're going to do some activities some team activities but you know you'll be with the team personally and not um like um a lot of media is not going to be around and all that other stuff so you'll get to talk to some people I'm pretty sure he already talked to some people but you'll get to talk to some people and you know smooth it over with them even though, you know, I'm pretty sure dudes is kind of aggravated with it after the, all this time. And, and he's one of the ones that um, really understand what it's like and what it's like in them neighborhoods and all that. So, you know, it'll, it'll get smoothed over, man. Hopefully, anyway, hopefully, and hopefully he'll do some stuff and, it, you know, if they even have a season, too, to, to, to get with some more people and chop it up with some more people about this because uh, dudes is coming up positive, randomly, all kind of different, you know, from different teams and all over, different sports and everything, you know, they're they coming up positive with, with the um, – with, with with the uh, COVID, so it's gonna be hard to to keep everybody safe on the teams and and because they still gotta do stuff with their families, you know. Um, they still gotta go interact with each other, and you know, so just one person can affect like ten people, family, and then they go they fam um, they go talk to some of their people. Like that, so it's gonna be hard, man. It's gonna be it's, it's hard in boxing, and you got it's just a one person sport, you know. Um, couple couple uh, the the main event on top rank last week, this week, this week, um, on Thursday. Oh no, was it Saturday? It was Thursday? Thursday. They had to um cancel that because of, of a positive test, you know, and that's just. 
10 person minimum can't. You know, so how is it that um, like a 53 man roster, 32 53 man rosters, coaches, that 53 is just the players. Then you got the coaches, the doctors, the team, you know what I'm saying, all that. So that's going to be the hardest thing ever to, to get them, keep them dudes negative testing. And the cow, some uh, players from the Cowboys just got positive tests. Um, Zeke, so, you know, Zeke be around Dak a lot. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just going to be hard to keep them test positive because them dudes – they got money. They like to do this. They like to do that. Um, they can do whatever they want. Their families can do whatever they want now, a lot of them. So um, just one person, can, you know, can, or in their case, one dude come to, come to work with it and don't know 53 dudes got it, players, then physicians, then trainers, then coaches. So it's just, it's like, it's going to be hard until there's a vaccine or, or this thing get under control a lot and people understand more. And the NBA season is just with COVID and with the, with the, uh, with the protesting, with the, with the movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, the NBA season just don't look like a goal and because you got a lot of dudes that just not down right now to play. You got a lot of dudes that that's, their heads are not in the game. They feel like what's going on is more important, and they don't want to lose steam on the progress being made. So it's like, you know, what do we do? And, and I, you know, I know some want to play. And it's, it's dope because I know a lot of them want to play to use the platform. You see us on TV, we're going to have, you know, these warm-ups and these shoes and we get to talk and millions of people get to hear us. And a lot of people is like, a lot of players is like, nah, I want to be feet on the ground at the forefront, mic in my hand, um, uh, a megaphone in my hand, talking, touching people, you know what I'm saying? Like that. So, and some people better feel better like that, that that will help more. So, you know, it's, it's whatever they want to do and whatever they feel comfortable with, but you can't have, you can't have us, you can't have 50% want to go and 50% don't want to go because the 50% that don't want to go is some big names and it's going to affect play. It's going to affect the quality of the game of the product, of the NBA product. So it might just get scrapped. Do, and they'll say, due to COVID, makes sense. And let the guys handle their business, you know? Um, but right now it's on slate for July. Start in July in the bubble. So, you know, as of now, you get ready for some NBA action in the bubble. I don't know how, well, that's the plan. You know, that's the plan. It, it, it could go and it, or it could not go, you know. Um, then I'm hearing from out of Cowboys camp, Dak done agreed to, the, to sign that franchise tender, you know. So, <laughs> so and what they're going to try to do, they're going to they gonna play him. They're going to they gonna try to play him. He's supposed to sign it Monday. He's supposed to sign it today. What they're probably going to do, which is going to be like a 31 point something million for this year, and then next year it could balloon to $37 million. And they would even have an option for a third if they want. I mean, if they can't get nothing done. So he'll sign it tomorrow, maybe, on, on, uh, on Monday. And uh, he, they would have up until July 15th to, to you know, extend him a real – contract a lengthy contract um worth his worth his while worth, you know his worth and everything because right now what they're shooting for russell wilson's the highest with 35 and um ben roethlisberger is the second highest i believe he's like 33 a year so um 
they shooting for somewhere around there, 35, anywhere from 33 to 36, probably 37. All because he's the next man up. You know, it don't matter. Like, uh, like I said, plenty of times I said it. It don't matter if, if he's the best right now, because neither one of those dudes considered the best in the league. But you know, it's their, t- it's their turn. Um, the inflation, the cap, and all that stuff. So it's just they. T- it's just his. It's Dak's turn right now to get his. You know, um, I'm not quite sure. If if he's because two, you gotta understand something. <clears throat> what Dak is doing now, he's holding up Pat Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. And they're both better than him. So just let's just be clear. He's holding them up. So if he gets something crazy like thirty eight million, then Deshaun Watson will be the next guy. Gotta give him thirty nine, forty million. And then Pat Mahomes just going to come in and say, yo, listen, hand me the blank checkbook. <laughs> hand me the blank checkbook, man. Let me do this thing, man. Let me, let me, um, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, I'm going to give you the number. Hand me the blank checkbook. I'm going to give you the number. You know, I think Dallas should have did this two years ago. Um, Cause they just played themselves really. Because what if you franchise him, boom, he take that 31, he play. And then he go somewhere else. You still ain't got a quarterback. You still got a running back getting money. And he's uncertain. You don't know if Zeke going to be in trouble. Zeke going to be in jail. You don't know where Zeke going to be. You know? Um... You don't know where Zeke going to be in the next four or five months. Because every year, something done happened. He ain't never came into training camp smooth. He ain't never came into training camp smooth. Pull up in a lamp, whatever, whatever, whatever he pull up in. He ain't never came to camp without some type of Oh, is he going to be suspended for this much? Is he going to be in jail for taking a lady's top off? Like, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> and you you paid him, but you don't pay a model citizen. Okay. And now we get into the point where um, teams are saying also that Cap should be on, the, on their workout list. Colin Kaepernick. I would say so. He should have been on the workout list. The commissioner said it, so now dudes are saying it. Anthony Lynn, hey, but it ain't going to happen, no. It's not going to happen. He won that that settlement, that collusion case. You're not going to sue me and win and work for me too. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. You're not going to prove me wrong. You're not going to make me look bad. And then I'm going to give you a $100 million contract or whatever? Yeah, man, please. Listen, bro. Listen. Come on now. Come on now. I mean, it is what it is, but come on now. He's better than, I'm going to say, 70% of the quarterbacks in the league. He's healthy. He ain't took no hits in three years. And he looked like he's in shape to me. I mean, you're not going to be in football shape until you start playing football. But I'm going to take a 32-year-old with good health, ain't been beat up in the last three years. I'm going to take him before I take a dude that ain't through a pass in seven, eight years with straight disrespectful. But at the time, they was really going at it, him in the NFL. So at the time, it, you know, whatever, whatever, I understood it. But um, I don't know, man. What you gonna do? Like now, him, he, he, now, <laughs> Colin Cabin, I could understand come in and be a backup until something happened. 
but they talk, people talking. Cam Newton signing somewhere as a backup. Bro, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. I mean, because Colin Kaepernick could go places and start right now. And he ain't played in three years. Cam Newton just been hurt. You know, Cam Newton just been banged up from running the ball too much. Especially on the goal line. I mean, you run your quarterback on the goal line, he getting hit, score or not. Go over the top, he get he hitting the ground. So, I mean, you just got to, like, that shit is just like, you know, neither here nor there. But uh, Colin Kaepernick, his body's fresh. And he's going to come out there with something to prove. He going to, listen, he done took a team to the Super Bowl. So, like, listen, you can't tell me, oh, it, this, all these problems he causing and all this. First of all, he ain't causing no problems. He's trying to solve a problem. And um, second of all, he could ball. So, let's get it. Now, Antonio Brown, on the other hand, that's a problem. And honestly, I don't see him ever playing again. Sad to say. Sad to say. Um, he's a Hall of Fame talent. But, man, he, so he's with Dion right now. Dion's taking him under his wing. If Dion Sanders can't help you, bro, if Prime can't help you, you can't be helped. I mean, because you done did some shit that already that excludes you from playing again, you know? You done do some shit that right now, when you come back, you have to hit the commissioner's exempt list for probably a, a season. So, Dion's just trying to help you save face, bro, honestly, because when you come back, you're not going to be the same. You know, honestly, when you come back, you're not going to be the same. AB's not going to be the same. You know, and he done burnt so many bridges. Who going to even trust him? Who going to even trust AB? So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just had a like a Father's Day ramble session. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even on. I, man, listen, I ain't even. I ain't even have nothing in the cup. Only thing I had in the cup was water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had water in the cup, man. But I had some stuff I had to get off. You know what I'm saying? I had some stuff I had to get off, man. And again, it made sense to me at the time. You know what I'm saying? But, man, listen, everybody, man, if y'all haven't already, subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like. Drop a comment. Share the video. You know what I'm saying? Please, please comment because, you know, that's what's up. Let me know how y'all Father's Day went. Um, Whatever I touched on that you agree or disagree with. Drop a comment, man. Let me know. Let me know, man. We'll 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 um we'll we'll do some replies, you know. Also, check me out on um on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, man, at the Real Mojo Point of View and Sports Reviews. Check me out, man. Check me out. I'm on, it's on Anchor, all that, man. Just check me out. Whatever, them, whatever podcast is played, man, all at me. Check me out, y'all. All right, man. Till tomorrow.